I was beaten with a Bible and told that I needed to repent the demon of homosexuality and expel him from my body. Wow, if I heard someone was beating my kid with a, with a book, I would have beat them with a book. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, my name's Marcus. What's your name? Uh, Jules. Um, I'm Annie. It's nice to, nice meet, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What are we here to talk about? Do you know what coming out of the closet means? A kid in the closet playing hide and go seek and then it's coming out of it? Not literally, but that's actually a really good metaphor. Coming out of the closet means that you reveal to other people something about yourself that's been a secret. This is more often than not used for people who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender. Have you ever met a gay person before? I think I have met somebody who is, but they're like my age. Have you ever known any LGBTQ kids? In your my own sister. School? Oh, wow. She started dating a girl, and I was like, oh, okay. She's nice. I can get used to this. <laughs> no, it's fine. Of course, it probably wasn't our parents' first option. Right. And stuff like that, but they were there for her. For That's sure. really wonderful and good to hear. I do attend church and um, Presbyterian, so I I don't agree with like homosexuality and stuff, but doesn't mean I don't have like friends and family that I like love and respect and adore who are. Sure. So um, I believe it's like their choice. Where did you get that idea that I guess that it's a choice? Um, I didn't ever really have that exact idea. We didn't pose the question to you fairly. Do you think that being gay is a choice? Oh, yeah. oh okay. Um, I think it depends. If you're born into the world and you're, you know you're different at such a young age, then yeah. But if they're like 25, they've been like straight all their lives and then they realize, oh, I'm kind of digging girls now. You can change that. So there's a lot you can lose in coming out. You can lose your friends, you can lose your family, yeah. your home. There's all these things that create fear. So you just spend forever avoiding it. It can be a long time before you're willing to accept it. When you were coming out of the closet, how was people reacting when they heard that you were gay? I first came out to myself when I was 13. Uh, and my family, unfortunately, wasn't very supportive. I was sent to my grandfather's, and he and his church put me through conversion therapy to try to change me. Have you ever heard of conversion therapy? I think. What does conversion or convert mean? Trying to switch someone's mind or... Correct, actually. The intent of this is to get the person to change. It's to make them not be gay anymore. So in conversion therapy, you go to this place where they're trying to change how your personality and how you are. Correct. That would just be a uh, pure mean. They're trying to make you like girls again mm -hmm. for some reason. <sighs> Yeah, and the reason why is because unfortunately, a lot of people don't like gay people because maybe their religion tells them not to. Did you grow up in a religious environment? Yeah, I am religious, but it's not meant to like hate everybody because hate's not gonna get you anywhere in the world. God gave us a choice. My choice is to love. That is powerful. You're a very, very, very enlightened kid. Can I ask you what techniques were used during your therapy? First, I was forced to do manual labor in the yard from sunup to sunset while repeating Bible passages. I was told that my friends were all going to die of AIDS, that I was going to die of AIDS. I was beaten with a Bible and told that I needed to repent the demon of homosexuality and expel him from my body. Wow, if I heard someone was beating my kid with a book, I would have beat them with a book. <laughs> <laughs> I was not allowed to communicate with anybody. I couldn't even talk to my mom on the phone. How old were you when that happened? I was 14. 14? Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty young for that. Yes. The more I was resistant to what they were trying to do, the abuse increased into what's called forced fasting, which is just a polite way of saying that I was starved. That's just wrong. It is. It's very wrong. Which one of those was actually the one that you felt uh, the worst about? It was the loneliness. 
part of conversion therapy, before any physical abuse starts, it's all about breaking down your spirit. It's all about breaking down your mind. And unfortunately, oftentimes it's successful. When that happened, were you faking like it was working so that they wouldn't like abuse you any more or like to try to stop it? No. <laughs> the reason why is because I didn't think that there was anything wrong with me. The worst thing that you can do is deny who you are, what you, and that goes for anything, because you like, do you like Doctor Who? Let's say yes. a lot of other people don't. And let's say all of your classmates said, we're not gonna be your friend because you like Doctor Who. But if you say that Doctor Who is stupid, we'll be your friend. Would you do that? Well, I not stop because I just love watching Doctor Who. Exactly, so I don't believe in lying about yourself to make other people happy. I just stay true to who I was. That's really clever. Thank you. <laughs> Could you give me like some tips or something to I like can. be a good friend to my friend? The biggest one is just to be a friend, be there. Because yeah. coming out, it's still so scary and it's confusing. And sometimes that journey takes a really long time to get there. To this day, do you feel like at peace with yourself? I do. If someone said tomorrow, oh, here's a pill to make you straight, I wouldn't do it. I love being gay, and I wouldn't change it. That's good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marcus James. Thanks for watching Kids Meet. To find out more about me or to read my books, click on the link below. And if you or someone you know is in danger of going through and experiencing conversion therapy, check out the resources down below.